Hello, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we have a big announcement for you. Here at Bytewing Games, we just announced that we are producing three brand new jazz-themed games. There is Bebop, Cat Blues, and Shuffle and Swing. If the box here looks weird, it's because it's not a box, it's a PNG. I don't have the actual prototype yet. We're just waiting on that still. But um, we can talk about the three games really briefly. Over the next few days and weeks, I'll be doing some unboxing videos and some how to play videos so that you can learn a lot of details about the games. But just today for a very quick overview, Bebop is a tile laying game and a dice laying game. So it's dual layered there. And it's all on a shared board. So you're really competing, trying to get fans to be next to the bands that they want to listen to. Cat Blues is a re-implementation of Cat Blues. This is the big gig. And some things that have changed in it is instead of being a six player game, it plays two to four players. And that was how it was originally made. Um, and some changes were made at some point to make it six players so it appealed to a wider audience. But it turns out that didn't necessarily work because playing at five or six players just isn't the ideal player count. So we really pared that down because it plays really, really well at two to four players. Um, there's been a few other changes that Dr. Kenizia has made, just minor tweaks to it to improve or change the rule set just a little bit. Um, the last game is Shuffle and Swing. Shuffle and Swing is a modern Euro with multiple rondelles. And the thing that I really love so much about this game is that when you place your worker to take one of the actions, um, there's workers at these action spots. And you don't just have to use your own workers, you can actually use other players' workers to take the action, but they get the resource if you use their worker. So you can really leverage where you place your workers, hoping others will activate those to give you resources. And sometimes you have to help someone else out because you really need a specific action at a specific time. Um, and in the game, you are mice and cats helping to build instruments for giants, naturally, as you can tell from the title. Uh, anyway, all three games um, we are super excited about. I think they're all very interactive. Um, I love that Bebop and Shuffle and Swing are both on a shared board, and so you have these shared incentives and competing for that. I mean, this is an auctioning game, so naturally you're com competing and interacting that way. Um, but we're super excited about them here. Nick and I have, have been stoked about this. Um, we love the artwork. We invested heavily in it because we wanted this jazz theme to really come through and shine, and we couldn't be happier with how everything has turned out. So stay tuned in the, in the coming days and weeks to hear more information about these games. Until next time.